welcome to atcm the emergency medicine channel today we are going to discuss about a paralytic agent rocuronium so a skeletal muscle relaxants can be broadly classified into depolarizing agents and non depolarizing agents so a depolarizing agent we know succinyl choline is a depolarizing agent and non depolarizing agents are broadly divided into uh, amino steroids and benz isoquinolones so in that benz isoquinolone uh, means uh, we have atracurium cisatracurium d tubercular mivacurium and all and uh, uh, today since we are going to discuss about rocuronium rocuronium uh, belongs to the category of amino steroids so other amino steroids are vecuronium is there then pancuronium and arapacurium these things are there so mainly in rapid sequence intubation especially in er we will be using uh, rocuronium so we will be discussing about that uh, the advantage of rocuronium is it is having a rapid onset of action so our onset will come uh, within 60 to 120 seconds uh, and one small disadvantage is that is this uh, it duration of action is only 30 minutes so within 30 minutes the uh, action will wean off so uh, onset is rapid and uh, duration is very less that is only 30 minutes okay and other advantage is that um, uh, this Uh, skeletal muscle since it is a skeletal muscle relaxant it doesn't have any action on the cardiac muscle so it will cause muscle paralysis but cardiac muscles will not get involved okay so uh, i have the rocuronium it comes as a vial and the dose for rapid sequence intubation is 0.9 to 1 mg per kg okay so if this patient is an elderly pa um, adult patient with like 50 55 uh, kg and all so we can use it as 0.9 to 1 mg per kg so 50 mg will be there so each vial will contain 5 ml and that 5 ml will contain 50 mg so each ml will contain 10 mg and 5 ml will contain 50 mg and it is a clear liquid um like other induction agents like uh, propofol it is it is a milky this one is a clear liquid and uh, this rocuronium vial should be stored in refrigerator in 4 degree celsius okay so uh, before giving paralytic agent what we should do so rapid sequence intubation we should follow the 7 p steps only after induction agent and only after um, sedation and induction only we should give the paralytic agent okay uh, so other than rapid sequence intubation what is uh, what all are the indications for rocuronium so um, uh, rsi dose we told now we can give for ards ventilation we can give as a paralytic agent continuous infusion we can give and that for the doses 5 to 12 microgram per kg per minute is the dose as a if infusion like uh, rocuronium infusion but ideally it is not used because we know that the duration of action is very less and uh, in ards continuous infusion of paralytic agent is not advised only intermittent doses are advised so usually it is not used and other indications are if the patient is having hypothermic uh, hypothermic shivering hypothermic cardiac arrest post cardiac arrest management uh, hypothermy induced shivering is there we can use rocuronium and it can be also used in raised icp patients those who are intubated and paralyzed such patients uh, we don't want the patient to uh, move or struggle or we don't want these patients to uh, increase the icp so in such patients we can use rocuronium only after sedation uh, for muscle paralysis so suppose if we used rocuronium rapid sequence intubation was done suppose this intubation was done for a uh, procedure um like an uh, endoscopy uh, for upper ga blade and we want to bring back the patient we need we are planning on extubating the patient uh, for that we can use sugamedex so sugamedex is a reversal agent and the dose of sugamedex is 2 to 4 mg per kg uh, is a dose and the um, effect will start uh, coming within 1 uh, to 2 minutes so that is the reversal agent of rocuronium and uh, rocuronium in the body it is mainly metabolized by bile and urine 60% by bile and 40% by urine so it is having some effects on patients who are having chronic kidney disease and chronic liver disease so in such patients with um, advanced ckd or cld in such patients paralytic agent can be altered to atracurium since atracurium um, 
Uh, it uh, the degeneration is by Hoffman degeneration is the uh, metabolism for atracurea in such patients with renal and kidney dysfunction we can plan on using atracurea as the uh, agent okay so uh, and the side effects uh, side effects as for all pa muscle paralytic agent the side effect is muscle paralysis and some patients will be having allergy or anaphylaxis to that and sometimes this patient who is on steroids these patients can develop myopathy also and in higher doses of rocuronium sometimes it will be having a uh, vagolytic effect on the heart and such patients can go into bradycardia these are the side effects of rocuronium so uh, we have discussed about rocuronium it is a um, uh, rapid onset of action is a used in uh, uh, rapid sequence intubation as a muscle relaxant and the dose for it is point 9 to 1 mg per kg and the reversal do reversal agent is sugamalax thank you